What's going on guys, Angel here. Welcome to my Cigar Lounge. And today is April, I'm sorry, today is September 29th, 2021. Today's actually my birthday, and tomorrow will mark a year since my first ever time smoking cigar. Uh, I should have been smoking my 12th cigar today, but time flies when you're having fun and when you're busy. So I've only done about seven. This will be my eighth cigar today, and it's none other than Monte Cristo Sublimation Afrique. I cannot wait to check this out and I'm going to tell you all about it after the intro. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alrighty, well, I am so excited to try this cigar. I've had this one in my humidor for a hot minute. And the thing I love about this is that it's encased in a glass tube with a cork. It's sealed with the cork and then on top of that inside there inside the glass tube they have the cigar wrapped in the cedar sleeve which I thought was just amazing they really presented this super well I'm gonna give you all a close-up on this in just a second but they really did their job on this it looks amazing and I remember when the person who said this to me I think it was either Ian or Daniel uh, one of you all but both big shout out to both of them because they were the ones who sent me some of these cigars that you're seeing now I remember when I first saw this one I said I've got to try this cigar out uh, by the way I did turn 22 today uh, if you were wondering how would I turn I turned 22 let me go ahead and go over the notes really quick for you all and uh, we'll jump right into the smoke session all right so the color on it is medium brown the size on this is gonna be five and a half inches and then the ring gauge is gonna be 43 it has a Cameroon wrapper with the Ecuadorian binder. Their origin is from Dominican Republic. Filler on this is going to be from Africa, Nicaragua, and Peru. And the price is going to run about $7 to $9 depending on where you're at. You can get this for less obviously if you just get a box of 5 or 10 or 25 Just depends on what you want. And it'll cost about $70 like to like $100 and something dollars. Which really isn't a lot. This isn't a super expensive cigar. But I heard Monte Cristo makes some amazing cigars. I want to pronounce this in French so bad because I feel like it would sound like this Monte Cristo Sublimation Afrique. I'm pretty sure this is a Hispanic cigar or made from a Hispanic person. The strength on it is going to be medium to full and uh, that's about it. That's all I got for you. I'm ready to go ahead and smoke this thing. It is currently 71 degrees, no humidity, a little bit of wind. I got my uh, lighters inside right now. Uh, we're going to take that out as soon as uh, I still I think it's warm enough to have it out but I don't know I don't want to risk it at all anymore and I might start just lighting them in the house in the future if it does start getting colder outside um, and I'm fine with that I hope you guys understand it's just where I'm at right now I can't really just light it uh, I don't know why I might just have to get a super expensive lighter for this not to happen but from the previous episodes for that not to happen I'm gonna make sure I just keep it inside until I'm ready to go ahead and light it all right Wow, they really presented this well. It looks amazing, guys. Can't believe they put a cork with this. Oh, it does. It smells like the cigar. And the notes on this are supposed to be creamy, uh, have a little bit of pepper, but for the most part, it's supposed to be creamy and smooth and sweet with some hints of vanilla as well. So I'm really excited for this one. I just finished eating. I want to make sure I ate something. This one is definitely on the smaller size. Uh, I really like this tube. It looks like a little chemical tube. I guess you could put it in there once you finish too. It's very tiny. It's not as big as like the other cigars I've had, but I'm pretty sure it's still gonna pack a punch. I'm really excited to see how like the smoking time on this is gonna be. Wow, that's uh, the cedar sleeve on here really smells good. It smells nice it smells really good it looks like they packed it tight it definitely feels like it's gonna be a tight draw uh, they packed a lot in this one we'll go ahead and remove the sleeve now in fact I'll go ahead and take a picture and then we'll remove the sleeve got the pictures done let's do this it's even tight to get this off though which is interesting it's really on here all right let me try to go slow. Oh, there's two stickers. No wonder. <laughs> Yo, they're smart. So they have one sticker on here, and then they have another one that just slides off. So we'll try to leave it on there as long as I can. Uh, I'll take it off in a minute, though. But it definitely is tinier. It's really tiny. 
Uh, this one has a little bit of crystals on here. You know what that means. It might also be from the paper, though. But it looks like it has a couple crystals on here. Overall, it's pretty veiny. Um, not toothy or anything. It's smooth. Nice looking wrapper. It reminds me of a... Uh, I don't know. The wrapper looks like something I've seen before. It smells amazing, guys. This one smells really good. Check it out. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, put this stuff back in here. In this tube. I'll leave that there. Alright, so that's cool that you can kind of put all your uh, wrappers and everything inside the tube. I guess it's a good time to tell you all, but I now have a V-Cut. I decided to go ahead and buy one of these on Amazon. I saw a really good price on it. Uh, it's pretty much just as good as the Calibri run. Here it is. Check it out. It's a black and gold one. has a really nice feel to it. I'm pretty sure it's either metal or uh, aluminum grade steel or whatever. Slides up. has a nice cutout for my cigar. And this is going to be a perfect size, too, because it's not too big, not too small. I've always wanted to use one of these. I'm super excited. And it makes a sound. If you're wondering where I got this from, I'll leave it in the link description below as well if you want to check it out. It's not expensive at all. It's like maybe like 20 bucks. So, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and cut this thing. I would just have to finish getting pictures and everything. I want to make sure I get this for Instagram. And I do want to start a website soon. But let's try out this V-cutter. It feels good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedure. Shout out to Floss. All right, here we go. First time using the V-cut. Here we go. Oh, wow. I see why y'all like V-cuts now. That was damn near perfect. Check that out. Try to hide my face a little bit. I think we did good on that one. I'm excited to see how the draw is going to be. Now I see why y'all like V-cuts, though. I can't wait. All right, so the time is now 5.57. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. So I got my Vector lighter today. Just went in the house and got it. As always, toast it, and then toast the foot. Toast it, then the foot, and then smoke it right. I'm going to try to get this as perfect as possible because it's my birthday today. So let's do this. Y'all, that opening, that's perfect, by the way. That's the best one I've gotten. Wow. All right, let's start the clock. It is 5.58 right now. Man, that is smooth. And the Vector just did a job. This is probably going to be the best cut I've gotten off of a cigar also don't mind the background noise just forgot to let y'all know don't mind the background noise I am outside as always if you want to watch previous videos start from the beginning right off the bat though I just want to go ahead and say super creamy uh, I already get hints of vanilla just right off the bat no pepper or anything I'm gonna try to do a retro hail today I hate doing those things but I know it helps it helps to really get the flavor and everything uh, what do I think the V cut I like it a lot because I'm able to get more within like one smoke I'm able to get more within a puff it's burning beautifully it does seem like the draw is slightly tight though but I will talk to y'all in the first third
All right, so first thirds here. I like this one. It is light. It doesn't smell bad. It's creamy. It's smoky, not too like chewy smoky or anything. It's good. This is honestly, if I had to start it out with this as my first cigar, because remember I did have the Davidoff, right? I probably should have started with something like this. The Davidoff was a light cigar. Obviously, it was expensive and everything, and I was like, oh, let me get a super expensive cigar, even though I really didn't need to. Um, this is good, though. This is my first one from Monte Cristo. This is my first cigar ever, and I always hear people talk about the number two pencil one. Uh, I think that's what it's called. It's like Cuban number two or something like that, but everyone raves about that one, and I've seen nothing but good reviews on this. The only thing, though, about this cigar, which is super weird, is I never see videos of people smoking this cigar so I'm gonna make the video for it and I'll try to have it out by the end of this week I actually ended up getting a little job interview I had the phone interview today I think that was because of COVID but now I have to do I have to go to the actual place to go do the interview there so big congrats on me I was some good news to have for my birthday great way to start off the morning of my birthday but uh, let's keep smoking, and I'll talk to y'all in the second third. All right, guys, so we're coming in the second third now. The notes that I'm getting are coffee and sweetness, and it's just light and creamy. Uh, nothing else. It's just It just feels like a perfect medium stick. Like, this is a perfect cigar. The burn, no complaints. No complaints on the burn. Which is good, because lately, I don't know, like the last two cigars have had a couple issues, but yeah, I like the smoke that it's outputting is really nice. It doesn't smell too harsh, but it definitely does smell a little bit. My mom just came in from work and they were like, yeah, I smell it. I don't know. I don't know if it's just cigar people that are like, I like the smell of it. When it's burning, I like the smell of it, but for some reason, there's certain cigars that just leave a kind of bitter taste in the mouth once you finish the, uh, smoking the whole thing. Uh, right now, we're, we're about 23 minutes in, 24 minutes in now. Uh, the ash is freaking perfect, and I'm glad I got to get this on camera. But that ash is just amazing. I haven't seen an ash like that in a minute. Uh, the last time I had an ash like this, it was on my Perdomo. Or Perdomo, that was like the 10th anniversary uh, box press uh barrel aged cigar that was an amazing cigar so check out that video in the top right corner y'all already know what to do but uh watch it after this too and you can watch the whole playlist overall though really good cigar i'll talk to y'all in the final third don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what your favorite cigar currently is and uh i'll be down there in the comments with you all all right guys so <laughs> my sister just smoked the cigar for the first time uh i got it on video too I'm going to just show you a clip of it. You only get the clip. You got to subscribe for the whole video. So subscribe. If we get to like 6,000 subscribers by like October, I might release the whole video. But I'll show you the little clip of it. It's really funny. Only a couple of y'all will probably be able to watch this uh, just because YouTube obviously will demonetize it as soon as. Um, I might put it on TikTok or something though or like Facebook so you can follow me there. Instagram. That's why I'll probably put it on Instagram. No, you got to hold. I Breathe can't hold in, it. Hold for one, two seconds. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the cigar. I'm still in like the second third. We're coming up on the final third. Uh, it's lasting a long time. They said it's supposed to last about an hour to an hour and a half. I don't know about an hour and a half for this size. It's only a five, five and a half inches. So it's not too big. And the ring gauge is super small on this. Uh, it's blowing everywhere though. I have my ashtray right over here. I really like that V-cut. The V-cut, I think, is what's really helping it. I did have to relight it just because it got cold. Uh, it is starting to get chilly now. It's about probably 68 degrees. I can go ahead and check. Yeah, 68 degrees on the dot, I could tell. Uh, it's been 35 minutes, so, so yeah. I imagine this is going to last about an hour. I'll come back to y'all at the final third. Hope you all are enjoying the video. Okay, guys, so we're coming in on the final third here. Uh, I'm almost at the nub of this thing. It is starting to heat up. So here's what I've noticed. No problems with the flavor or anything. Everything's pretty much consistent at this point. You have a little bit of pepper now coming in. Uh, the coffee's nice, and then you have that vanilla as well. It's a pretty much perfect cigar. The only thing, though, 
is that this is way too tight. The draw is very tight now. It's really hard for me to even get the smoke to come up. I don't know why it's so tight. Uh, it's like super stiff at the end, but it's hot right here. It's burning really hot now. And it's starting to get to that point where you know it might be time to stop. And with that being said, I've got to say, this is a great cigar. We're about an hour in now, uh, just coming up in the hour. And it's a really good cigar. I don't have any complaints besides I wish there was more. I do wish there was more to this cigar just because I like cigars that have, I like more complex cigars. I, I'm fine with a light tasting cigar, but at the same time, I want to taste that cinnamon or the the little bit of nuttiness or the oakiness. Uh, Drew Estate comes to mind when I think of a very smoky type cigar. Another one that comes to mind is obviously the Arturo, the Arturo Fuente Don Carlos Bellicosto Cameroon. I will never forget that cigar. That is a cigar that I am going to come back to once I finish all of these cigars. But I'm glad that I picked this one for my birthday. The other one that I was going to pick was actually called, hold on, let me go ahead and look at it really fast. I think it was Ramon Boizo, yeah. So Ramon Boizo, Genesis the Project. Let me know in the comments section below if you had that cigar. But from what everyone says, it's a really good cigar. It's a full body cigar. Uh, it has Connecticut Broadleaf and its or origin is from Honduras. Uh, it had notes of like caramel, dark chocolate, and uh, there was one other note in there that I can't think of off the top of my head but I was gonna smoke that one and I went with this one because I didn't want to go super heavy because what everyone was saying was that it is definitely a heavy type of cigar this is not bad though at all I think this is great for a beginner and I'm no longer a beginner I wouldn't say that anymore I'm seven cigars in this thing and I've learned a lot thanks to you all so uh, give yourself a round of applause because I really appreciate all the help uh, it started off from me smoking a cigar backwards, and here we are, cigar number seven, or eight, no, seven, cigar number seven now, I think it's eight, actually, I think it is eight, because I definitely said eight before, so I'm pretty sure this is my eighth cigar, but, you know, I really appreciate all the support, guys, I don't get paid for any of this, by the way, uh, nobody sends me this no company has ever sent me cigars if they love to i will be more than appreciated to see how your work how your craft is like palencia uh rocky patel i've got to check out those two brands h upman you have uh not drew estate there's one other one olivia or oliva i can't pronounce the name right but i'd be what i watch cigars daily all the time actually once he posts a video out i put it in my notes and say is these the type of notes that i want to smoke or that I would like in a cigar and I just write it down I have already like 20 other cigars that I'm gonna have to smoke just because of him oh Atabay is another cigar that I have to try out uh, let me go ahead and look at some more there's a lot on my list now guys uh, you have Dunbarton Southern Draw I really want to check out Southern Draw Camacho I haven't had a Camacho yet either I know Romeo y Julieta or y Julieta, it doesn't really matter which way you say it, but I want to check out them. Those are the brands that are on my radar for a minute now, uh, and the people that I see, that's the ones that I see a lot of people smoke consistently. I still haven't had a Cohiba. I know that's another brand that's super popular as well. But to each their own, it doesn't really matter. It depends on what you like with cigars, and I think that's the best part about it. It's what do you like? in a cigar because there's something for you there is a cigar out there that you're gonna like regardless maybe you may not even like cigars at all but there's at least one cigar that I'm pretty sure that you like out there uh, ones that have fruity notes in there sweet notes more rugged notes you know they have everything which is so wild that you can put this rolled into a cigar handcrafted even the acid scars when you infuse flavors into it I'm not really a fan of that, but a lot of people are. With that being said, though, I hope you all enjoyed the video once again. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I enjoyed my 22nd birthday, and I hope to see another one next year. Time isn't real, but it does go by fast. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. I'd love to have you here. Join the O Squad with me, and uh, there's more to come. I put out two videos back-to-back -back for y'all. I know y'all saw that. And uh, this one's probably going to come later this week. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I try to keep this up once a month, but I do want to finish all the cigars that were sent to me by the end of this year. So 
probably around Thanksgiving is when I'm going to probably start ramping up the cigar videos just because I do want to finish all those. So it might be like once a week just for all you guys. And um, after that next year, I'm going to probably just buy a whole new fleet of cigars for that year and uh, let them just rest in that humidor. And when I'm ready to smoke one, I'll smoke one. But until next time, peace out. Thank you.